A man shot and killed last night in Orlando was tied to a gang-related shooting in Osceola County almost a year ago. That shooting was the first in more than a dozen other shootings. All were believed to be gang-related. Not all were deadly, but some of the victims were innocent children. New 6's Jerry Askin takes a closer look at this latest case and the bigger issue of gang violence in Central Florida. He joins us now from Orlando Police Headquarters. Jerry. Hey, Lisa, yeah, and that victim's mom told News 6 that she bonded her son out of jail in Osceola County yesterday on his 21st birthday. Well, he was killed and a day later right here in Orlando. Right now, we're asking detectives here at the Orlando Police Department more about a motive and if today's shooting was a retaliation shooting or if it was gang related. A family overcome by grief. I ain't shocked, but I ain't expected it was going to happen this fast. Jakia Burden still can't believe her son, Demetrius Cox Jr., will never come home. She told News 6 that he was the man found shot and killed in Paramore early Monday morning, hours after he turned 21 years old. I mean, I ain't saying my son was a saint. He didn't have his share of time. He was a high school graduate who Burden said had a football scholarship, but he got involved with the wrong crowd. I learned. Cox bonded out this weekend from the Osceola County Jail after being charged with first-degree murder. He's accused of shooting and killing a man at a house party last April in Osceola County, a shooting investigators say was gang-related. I'm, I'm tired of cycle because in, in, my, in my humble opinion, this, these, they are all connected in one way or another. The April shooting happening months before a series of gang-related and retaliation shootings throughout Orange County including two separate drive-by shootings that deputies say killed three-year-old Daquan Felix and 14-year-old Joshua Atkinson in September, where still no one has been caught. Bishop Kelvin Colbert is on the Orange County Citizen Safety Task Force working to prevent crimes like these. And the reality is there's got to be another way to deal with confrontation other than taking somebody's life. Yeah, Bishop Colbert told me today that the task force plans to meet this Wednesday to present their recommendations to Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings on ways to better prevent crime. Meantime, it's worth to mention there have been several arrests made in those many shootings that we saw last year. We're live here in Orlando. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6. Jerry, thank you.